So you have studied women's size preferences. This is uh, <laughs> some. This is uh, something that needs to be you know, studied and it's been debated and it's like the number one question I get from men all the time. Like, is my piece okay? Mm -hmm. Is it too small? Um, so what were your findings and can you tell us a little bit more about the study and how you conducted it? There have been a lot of studies on size preferences in women. And to that point, we uh, mainly had studies that were like on a sheet of paper and they would ask women, well, how many inches long do you prefer? And I thought, well, that's kind of hard to answer. <laughs> like, not only is it a little abstract, but we're also, as humans, bad at estimating size. You know, so if I ask you to like show me what five inches is, how close would you really get? I don't know. And so we thought we need to be more concrete about this and create uh, what are known in our biz as haptic stimuli. That is something you can hold and look at. So we decided we were going to print a variety of sizes um, to represent, I think it was 33 different models we ended up with, and we 3D printed them. Uh, we made them blue so that they wouldn't you know, reflect any particular race, we hoped. Uh, no one's really blue. And asked a series of women to come into the lab and pick out the pieces that they'd had you know, the most experience with recently, and their biggest and the smallest, and then also uh, what pieces they would prefer for a one-time partner and what pieces they would prefer for a long-term partner. And that last, uh, those last two questions were what we ended up publishing on. So the women tended to pick out a piece that was slightly larger for a one-time partner, especially in girth, and a bit uh, smaller for a long-term partner. And my collaborator is an evolutionary psychologist, so he's really interested in these ideas of like how mating strategies, you know, um, are integrated into those kind of things. So the the joke was that we had discovered husband dick. That is, you know, what the uh, what women may want for a one-time or a pleasure, fun side thing um, appears to be bigger than what they're really wanting to maybe deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> That's um, maybe a bit smaller. Yeah, we call it uh, we call it boyfriend boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> and I've I've interviewed quite a few girls about this, and uh, they've said, yeah, you know, like boyfriend size. But I just want to actually specifically. Um, reference the, the, the measurement numbers that you came up with, because, you know, like everyone's going to want to know, well, okay, well, what is this? So it, mm -hmm. um, you said that for the boyfriend or husband, um, it was generally six and a half feet long and, uh, five feet. Wow. Six and 6.4 inches long <laughs> and five inches around. And then, um, for dating, um, it was, oh, wow. An ad just popped up while I'm trying to look at this. That's not nice. Um, it was, a uh, 6.3 inches long and 4.8 around. Does that sound correct? Sounds about right. I, it's been a while, but honestly, anyone could look at this. It happens to be a journal article that's available free on the internet. Not all of them are, but, uh, it's just called women's preferences for pink size, a new research method using selection among 3d models. So you can even go look at the, the plot themselves if they want to, to see exactly like where normal falls and where the preferences were. Yeah. I mean, I think most guys, you know, assume that women are interested in like eight inches, seven inches, and, mm -hmm. and these fall well below that. And I think the average is, is five and a half, like worldwide. Is that, is that correct? You know, it, it is, but our, oddly our measures of size are really poor because uh, we kind of, again, have these weird rules in research where we can't be in the presence of an erect that was caused by sexual arousal. So, so most of these are self measures, which I assume there's some exaggeration going on or inaccuracy, we'll give them credit. Um, and so the only ones where we have actual physicians measuring or researchers measuring um, are when they've been in, uh, induced with paprovin. So you inject the penis with something that causes it to become erect. And I don't know if that size is the same as what is produced by natural sexual arousal, uh, because this drug is was designed you know, to create um, maximal relaxation in the penile muscles that allows this blood to come in. So, uh, so those few studies we have where they were actually measured by someone not themselves, 
uh, hopefully right. in a more systematic way, we're also papervin induced. So I don't know that we really have great measures of what is normal. Hopefully they're somewhere around there, but I, I would never uh, take those as too gospel either. You know, we're still working yeah. on the side end. Yeah. And I think also size can appear different on different men, depending on like what the rest of their body looks like, <laughs> you know, if they're heavier or they're thinner or if they've like mm-hmm shave their bush or not. (laughs) You know, I mean, there's a lot of factors there. And we asked explicitly uh, also of these women, we said of these different traits, you know, which one is, which ones are more or less important to you, please rank order. And I think uh, size was towards the bottom of these 12 traits. Like, I think it was just above eye color and type of car or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was really low on the ranking. So it's not that women don't consider it, it's in there somewhere. And probably if you're at one extreme or the other, maybe it's more relevant. um, Mm -hmm. But it's just not something I understand the guys care a lot. (laughs) On average, women tend to value it pretty lowly in terms of judging how much they like a person. 